Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Katie and I'm really excited to be starting a booktube channel today. So I've decided to start with a bookshelf tour because I'm so extra <laughs> and I can't do things halfway. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to be showing you my bookshelves. I thought it was a really good way to start a booktube channel because it just gives you a sense of what kind of books I like and yeah, so... Although I will say in advance, it is mostly fantasy because that's my favourite genre, as you can see from my lovely Sanderson up there. But yeah, you'll have to forgive the editing on this video if it's a little bit clunky because this is the first one I've ever done. Um, and yeah, so let's get into the tour. So to start with, I just have my shelves. This is an IKEA Expedit. And obviously I don't have um, books in every shelf. Um, so I'll start with these hardbacks. So I've just got a selection, uh, they're all fantasy, <laughs> what a surprise. Um, yep, and then I have some nail varnish, some DVDs, and Heartstopper, um, which is a great graphic novel series. And then A Court of Thorns and Roses colouring book. And then a couple more DVDs. And then I've got Saga and Monstrous, which are graphic novels. They're both really good. And then here I have my favourite shelf, which is Sanderson, obviously. Um, so, and a bit of Leah Bardugo, so Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. These are the collector's editions. They're very beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, so these are all the UK ones. Um, and there's Stormlight Archive, uh, two books. There's part one and part two. Um, and some Stormlight Archive tarot cards, which I'm planning on doing a video with these because uh, they're really beautiful. And um, then the Mistborn books, Warbreaker, a couple of other Brandon books. So this one I actually got in Canada, which is quite exciting. It was only $6, I think, which is probably about £4, which is a great deal for hardback. And um, then I have, oh, that's just me as a baby. Um, uh, the Rise of Kiyoshi, which is Avatar The Last Airbender. I really love this one. I have seen some mixed reviews, but I love it there. There she is. Uh, then Gentleman Bastards by Scott Lynch, Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemsen, uh, The City of Stairs, I'm not sure what this one's called, the tr the like series name, um, by Robert Jackson Bennett. Then some just random books here, uh, Strange the Dreamer, I have Muse of Nightmares on my Kindle. Um, some Middle Grade, I absolutely love Frostheart, it's so cute. Um, Tower of Dawn, so that's part of the Thread of Glass series. The rest I have on my Kindle. Ace of Shades and King of Fools, uh, they're both really good. So I have Wondersmith. Uh, so this is the second book in the Nevermore series, which is one of my favourite middle grade series. I don't have Nevermore physically, I have it on my Kindle, but I really want it because it's so colourful. And the last one's coming out this year. Then down here I have, so the Scythe trilogy, a led Caraval and Legendary. I have read Finale, but I don't have it. Um, then the Illuminate Trilogy, the first book in the Wheel of Time, which I'm planning on getting to. Also, these little tabs, they're books that I haven't read, if you see any of them. Um, and then I have my little book cart. So this is from Ikea. All my furniture's from Ikea. Um, so just a random little plant. And then I have the Mistborn... Um, collector's editions so all very pretty there's Vin and then this shelf is just um, sort of the Never Tilting World the normal editions of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and just some random bits and bobs The Prince and the Dressmaker which is a great graphic novel um, and then this is my well partly stuff to be read and then just a couple of middle grades and Little Women. I really love this edition. Although it is only the first book, I think there are actually four books. So then the next shelf is this one. Um, so I just have a little tree on mover and a cat. So I have the Bear in the Nightingale trilogy there, which the covers for these are so beautiful. Um, and then I have my Shadowhunter books. So most, I have all the Dark Artifices and the other um, Clockwork Princess on my Kindle. This is a box set of the Mortal Instruments. And then Chain of Gold, which is gorgeous. 
and also the collector's edition for Clockwork Angel, which is also very beautiful. Um, and then I just have uh, The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear. I haven't actually read The Wise Man's Fear yet. It's a bit chunky. Um, it's just some random kind of adult fantasy, Colour of Frost and Starlight. Um, then I have some sci-fi. So The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which I really love. It's one of my favourite books. Um, then uh, yeah, just some index cards, a little plant. And I have some hardbacks here. <coughs> so The Dragon Republic. Um, Becoming White Princess, I've had this one for ages. Kingdom of Souls and King of Scars. So then these are my last two shelves here. So these are my last two shelves here. Um, so I'll move, I've just got some plants for decoration. So I'll move them. And then have the Study in Charlotte series, which is kind of hard to get in the UK. I got them on the used Amazon side which is really good there are a couple of them a little bit damaged but you can hardly tell um <clears throat> some little mass market paperbacks here i love this series most of them i have on audiobook because the narrator is kate redding who also does the stormlight ones and she's amazing <laughs> um so but this is the first one i got this used so it's a bit tatty but who cares uh then i have the um daughter of smoke and bone the last two books a uh, few first few books in the Bloodline series, which is a spin off of Vampire Academy, The Maze Runner, Pretties and Uglies. These are some older Y books, some John Green books. Oof. Uh, the last three books in the Vampire Academy, uh, another Philippa Gregory book. And down here, I have a candle, a unicorn candle. Um, so I have a, another graphic novel called Bloom, it's a bakery story, I love cooking. Um, then some older YA, some nice sprayed edges ones there, uh, some Rick Riordan, most of his stuff I have on my Kindle but I think these were on offer so I got them. And the Night World books which I used to absolutely love these when I was like 12, 13. <laughs> and then a couple more hardbacks, so Aurora Rising and Fireborn. Uh, so that wraps that one up so thank you very much for watching please subscribe i would really appreciate your support if you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up as well if you liked it and yeah thank you i'll see you next time